Hello everybody, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to a video examination of Headlander. This is the latest game from Double Fine Games, and it once again follows their MO of, well, very weird aesthetics and story. One second, I just want to make the sound a little bit lower, just so that I can talk. And while we're at, let's see if we can spruce up our resolution. There we go. I don't know if that'll actually do anything, but probably not. So, Double Fine has really been making a name of themselves, even since the days of Psychonauts, as a studio that has always tried to be different with each one of their games, and this has led to both great and sometimes missed designs. Because they always work on something new, it means they don't really have the chance to iterate on a previous game. So in some cases you have something crazy and magic like Psychonauts, or the often debated Brutal Legend, which I know some people didn't like the twist of the action strategy, while others did enjoy it. Double Fine, of course, also made a name for themselves as well, the first, like, super mega example of Kickstarter with Broken Age Part 1 and 2. Since then, they've had some hits and misses. Personally, I like the game Stacked, which was during their Xbox, I think it was on Xbox Live originally. And then there was Massive Chalice, which I did a spotlight of, and it was a very amazing idea, but it just lacked refinement, in my opinion. With Headlander, what we're going to talk about tonight, this is probably, surprisingly, one of the better games from Double Fine. It's one of those few times where they've managed to capture the aesthetic and story that they wanted with unique and interesting gameplay to match. Now, I'm going to start several minutes in. This is, I think, if we won't like split the game into like parts or whatever, we may be at like part two, part three in terms of challenge. But that's just so I can show off the basic mechanics without being in the tutorial. I see the game has like a 70s retro future theme to it. And again, that's another part of Double Fine's MO. To really go for a unique aesthetic and then take it as far as they can. Okay. So as you can see, we are ahead. Well, literally ahead. The story is it's the far future, and the majority of humanity, or well, most of everyone, has turned themselves into robots. And you are the remaining human head in all of the universe. And it's your job to sort of help to free humanity from an AI that has basically gotten them enslaved thanks to their robotic bodies. So, the twist of the game is that you can basically take over a robotic body as the heads pop off. Like, so. And the citizens, as you can see, love the I'm disco dance. The idea of another head lift. <laughs> so, you can pop the head off at any time and take another one. So each part of the game, I think what's interesting is not sure what I was doing there. <laughs> if we come to the map, there we go. You can see that the doors are different colors. This is part of the game's puzzle-like design. And Headlander really would be a Metroidvania-style game if instead of being about RPG mechanics, it's about puzzle solving. The idea is that different doors require different authentication. And to get the authentication, you need to find different bodies of colors. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you see sort of the color chart. That represents the soldier class of the enemies from weakest to strongest, or left to right. So if I'm a yellow one, I am stronger than orange and red, and I can open up the that I can open up those doors, is that but head rated for indoor use? but I can't do anything higher than that. Gender not recognized. Door will not open. Okay. Far 
Wow. Let's see, will it let me through? Go away. Everyone knows gender not present. <laughs> the doors all are very snippy with you. So I need to come over here. Create a head. And take it over here. Female gender can and you can see the aesthetics of the game look really fantastic. So you pick up energy that is part of the game's meta progression. So we come over here, you can see there's different upgrades. And you're free to go up whatever paths you want based on what you have currently unlocked. So I've unlocked the headbutt takeover. I've also unlocked the fact that my bodies will recharge health normally through my own system. You also get like a little shield. Your helmet's not yet fast enough to fly through that mess without being stamped flat. I'm Good. sensing another one of them trans fiber nodes nearby. Best take a gander for. That's our narrator and helper. He's pointing us to another upgrade. Again, the Metroidvania style vein. So you basically lock our head in, and we get this groovy Hold graphics. On your bridges. Here we go again. Get ready, folks. If you're color sensitive or photo sensitive, you may want to look away. Whew. Trippy. Alrighty. Your noggin rockets can boost now, but it only lasts as long as the power you got. Okay. So now we apparently have a boost. Whee! And you can see my energy up there. There's a All lot right. of upgrades in the game. To boost on through without being pancake. If you look at the map here, there's a lot of side areas and warps and stuff. You won't see the secrets as I've already gone the ones this far. But trust me, there's a lot of things you can get. And again, despite the outrageous aesthetics and story, this is, I think, one of Double Fine's more grounded designs. In the sense that it feels like well thought out. Oh, wait. Is that Richard Horvitz? Yeah, I think that's Richard Horvitz. Using my shield to try and reflect the shot. So as I said, of their games, uh, they usually have, unfortunately, problems with balancing gameplay with their aesthetics. But this one definitely feels like the most complete. Oh. So now, apparently... <laughs> I love how the doors are so annoyed with you for opening them. Oh. Here. Wrong way. So you also have a oh, have a smart aim, so you can see the exact reflection of your beam. Let me through. That there there's a gravel lift. Y'all can headland into it and take it down. Okay. So again, I'm free to switch bodies whenever I want, but the ones that I want to get are the soldier class. If we're lucky, this gravel it will just take us right by the power dome and straight to the archives. The archives got a detailed record of Methuselah's activity. Methuselah is find the out bad exactly guy. What y'all doing here? Right. Not that I don't like your company. I found another little hidden spot. Oop, don't want to get crushed. If you die, you'll simply restart at the beginning of the room. So this will increase my helmet power. So that's the purple or the magenta bar underneath my health. So another tick gets added. Whoa, almost got crushed. So you need a buy to open up most doors. So what I need to do is bring this up here. And this is the general puzzle solving of Headlander. How do I open up these doors and keep the bodies that I want? So this door up ahead is going to be green, which means I will not be able to open it. So I may need that body. Oh wait, actually, so I'm going to need it for this. I am far too advanced for this menial task. So we'll move on to the next area. 
We have a red door, which means I do need a red soldier for that. Must be a new type of bells, bells. Way down is blocked by them three big shaft doors. Okay. Y'all gonna have to cut the power to each one so they'll open up. Okay. Well, go get it done then. Oh no. Now hold on. That floor will light you up like a Christmas tree. You have entered the secure zone. Yeah. Cease from emulation at once. Watch out for that big fella with the wheels. Mm -hmm. Me right I want your pie. There we go. Them rubber wheels. So now I'm in orange. So this guy just simply beats up characters, as you can see. So what I want to do is there is a there are two doors. There's a red and a yellow. Red and orange. So I'm gonna leave the body right here. It'll be fine. I'm gonna come back up. Grab the lift. And the state gets preserved as long as you don't die or leave the game. So I'm going to bring this guy down here. And because he's orange, it means it will open up the red doors as well. So apparently there's something in there. Almost there. And this is pretty much Headlander throughout the game. It's just figuring how they get through these different parts. The same ride. Folks being made to build their own captors. Nothing new to report. Nothing new to report. There are some new Spectrum Shepherds terrorizing everyone, and somebody needs to stop them. Uh -huh. They jumped my friend Martha Three in the hookah lounge for no reason. I, I, what was I saying? <laughs> My gem is making things fuzzy again. Ah, oh, that was it. Yes, the Spectrum. That's what they're called. They have bicolored duds. Okay. So we have a little quest we can do. Okay, I unlocked a waypoint. Oh, up here. Y'all ain't gonna get past that security plug till your helmet systems have stepped up their game. Okay. I don't know what it all means. All right. Die. <laughs> Red access confirmed. All right. Uh, eh, don't worry. I can grab another orange buy from the next room. Snap again. So because I got an upgrade, I can be offensive even with a normal body, like so. You, I headbutt him and take over his body. So this guy has a laser beam. Orange access access. Don't give a second thought to shooting the peanuts out of the shepherds, because they ain't people. They're just dumb robots. So the idea is you want to shoot their heads off. I'm in cover now. And leave the body for yourself. So I'll take this. Die. It's also very actiony compared to I think a lot of games of Double Fine, as you can see with how you're shooting. Oop, blew him up. So I can leave my body as many times as I want, but if my head gets destroyed, that's when it's a game over. I'll take that. So I can use my aim here. So again, I want to try and pop his head off. 
the other robot. Can you aim? There we go. And then leave the body. So as you can see... Still got a lot to explore. And then there are some doors can only be opened by like little drones. Back in this. I know it seems like I'm running y'all over the damn place, but I ain't got much choice. There ain't no way y'all gotta kill the power of that lift lock and open it. Oh. That dog won't hunt. Cut the power of that lift lock. Y'all gonna have to pull out that crystal nose to kill the juice of this thing. It's a good thing y'all suck. That's the way. It has received damage. Again, just want to try to get the head. Or just blow him up like that. That lift lock is wide open, and y'all can use that gravel lift now. Take this. Let's see, where are we going? So we need to still go over to the right. And the upgrade system is simply used to give you more abilities. But it doesn't seem to give you anything that's like Per, that you're required to take in the sense that you're not going to beat the game without it. It's simply quality of life improvements. Okay. When a body... Oh, how was that? It's just another way of giving you a reason to go for these upgrades and to hunt around. So you can see we now have one that Shoots multiple shots. Again, it's kind of <laughs> interesting that you're just popping their heads off to finish them. You also have a roll that you can do. Some of them do. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> take that. Thank you for those words of wisdom, Z4. <laughs> Peace be with you. I'll take that. So I have enough upgrade points, I can probably get something else that I would like. I'm gonna need this guy. Y'all can make it uh -oh. them double lasers if your bound shield can protect your face and your boost. So that is an upgrade to get a 360 degree shield. I believe it's over here. There we go. So now that we have that... Let's see what happens. Y'all can make it through them double lasers nice. if your bounce shield can protect your face and caboose at the same time. Not bad. Where I'm from, we call that a covered wagon. <laughs> I'll take him in a second. Cease all ambulation. Uh oh. I use the analog stick to create my shield. There we go. And you can see the Mitch. I'll tell you all about it later. You got enough on your mind right now. So you can see the Metrovania of the game by finding all these little secret areas and upgrades. There 
go. Another little boost. Oh. Find more potential candidates. Our numbers are too few. It is a risky process, one that I'm scathed. <laughs> Lucia 13 sacrifice cannot sacrifice. Alright, so they want red. Is that even a red head? Or is that just a random thing on the ground? An orange body. So again, I can use my warp. Bring this down. Get back in here. Now. For inspection. Critical damage received. Enthusiasm is mandatory. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we need to get something in here. And again, we need an orange body to do this. Oh, apparently I just blew him up. So, That. Anything good in here? Oh, we have listening stations. So again, we have my shield I can use. It's its own reward, citizen. Where are we right now? As you can see, we are free to explore, and there's just a lot to do here. As I said, it, this does feel like the most complete in terms of Double Fine's games. Like, I'm not see finding any, like, mechanic issues, or, like, little things that are annoying me about the game. We'll explore for a little bit longer, and then I think we'll call for the video. Because again, anything that I show you is technically spoiling the game. More health is always welcome. <laughs> that lift lock needs to open before this gravel lift will go much of anywhere. Right. Oh, just ran right into the death beam. Shepherds have to recharge once in a while. Team. So now we're yellow, which means that we're stronger than those orange guys. We need to get down all the way there, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Richard Corbin's. <laughs> Anything else I can do over here? This actually work? I don't think it will. Uh, I need to take an actual body in here, but we don't have access to that yet. Again, that is definitely an interesting way to finish all of your enemies, just pop their head off.
died. So sometimes you need to get the body to the door, or you need to shoot a laser to it, as you can see. Goodbye. upgrade my area so now I can see everything here. Or at least for this general spot. So this is going to be very useful. I'll just get back in my little body here. Anything else I can do in here? I just like how all the regular robots are about this go. Alright, so here's a little service droid. Take him over. And we found an upgrade. Alright. So I'm really enjoying Headlander. Again. Of the games I play from Double Fine, usually I can find, like, a game mechanic or design issue with them. Just because of the fact that they are so unique, that they really don't do much in terms of refinement. But this, despite being such an outlandish story and design, really works in just about every area. And the fact that I'm spending all the extra time to find all the secrets and explore, it really helps out. I would say for fans of Double Fine, the one thing is that this game feels the most restrained, I think, in terms of story. As you can hear, there's not a lot of voices in this game. You're not going to find as many, as much of a voice talent cast as you did with Brutal Legend or Broken Age. But again, I think this subdued um, kind of design works for Headlander. Orange access accepted. So we're missing yellow, which is over there. Please report to the nearest conformity enforcer that. for the mandatory post-work cycle interactive survey. Y'all can make it through them double lasers if your bounce shield could protect your face and caboose at the same time. Round for yeah, yeah, we know. We call that a covered wagon. So I need to get an orange laser. So here we go. Orange clearance affirmed. Opens that. And we're in here. Engaged. Shepherds activated. Boom. I want that body. Anything else above me other than that yellow door? You do have to play around that kind of constraint. 
I don't think this is gonna go higher than I need, no. Uh, so the only way I'm gonna get through here, to that yellow spot, is I need to take this lift all the way down. Which means I gotta take the light lift lock off. Find that. Citizens are reminded that all bodies with a 13 designation have been discontinued indefinitely. Come over here. And simply pop this out. So here's the catch. I need the I need a drone to activate the teleporter, but I need one that can also walk on electricity. Which means I need to figure out some way to get the get this guy up here. Hard work is its own rule, citizen. There have been reports of an unauthorized but social. Again, anything else I show will be considered spoiler territory. And you can see, we can... I think I can zoom... Wait, there we go. As you can see, there is quite a lot to explore. And I'm only really in section... I guess it's considered section 3? Maybe section 4 of the game. So, Headlander is currently available. Like I said, if you're looking for a Metroidvania game with that double fine, unique feel to it, definitely check this game out. And I'm really interested to see if this is sort of like the, I guess, the new Double Fine, or what's going to be next from them following Headlander, especially considering the reception it's gotten. So far, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it, and usually Double Fine games can be a hit or miss. Again, Brutal Legend being a good example, Broken Age, and even the game that I like, like Stacked. I know there's other Double Fine games that I'm currently forgetting or not mentioning as well. But anyway, this has been Headlander, a puzzle game where apparently you can uh, mix with Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So that's going to do for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to share with your friends, leave a comment, and of course, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out game-wisdom.com where I examine the art and science of games. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter under GWBicer for the latest updates. And you can find me on Patreon under Game Wisdom. Your donations can help to keep Game Wisdom going. And if we can hit some goals, it will mean getting more content for everyone to enjoy. Once again, this has been Headlander. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.